Charles Armstrong, founder and CEO of Tourist. I come from a user experience design background. That means my approach to delivering products is making sure we're sol solving problems. That's really all that we're concerned with. Um, so I was a co-founder of an ad agency in Florida where we focused on delivering um, appropriate technology solutions uh, to, to many different companies, including travel-related brands. And uh, it was during that experience that uh, we came up with this idea of Tourist. It's very exciting. Essentially what we're doing is delivering the YouTube of virtual tours. We make it such that consumers and professionals can generate these 360-degree experiences um, and be able to publish them online in a matter of seconds. The genesis for tourists was that we recognize that consumers like showing off photographs of what they're doing, right? Um, especially where they're going. We're all proud when we've gone and seen something cool, and, and frankly, even if we've seen something that was very undesirable, we oftentimes want other people to know. At the same time, brands want nothing more than the evangelism of consumers. So this is a potentially a match made in heaven. And we saw the opportunity to say, wow, let's empower consumers to create geo-local, visceral, immersive media and empower the same brands that they're recording to be able to promote that media. So what we're doing is basically tapping into social and advertising at the same time. YouTube has very successfully done that in video, and we see the opportunity to take this type of viewing experience and extend that uh, all the way to, to virtual tours. This is, this is kind of what I'm talking about. You can hold any mobile device. You can also do this on desktop computers. And as you point in any direction, it's like you're there. This is a Royal Caribbean International. We were pr proud to announce today as our latest client. I'd like to share some interesting statistics on the use of this medium. The average session when a virtual tour is included, jumps from three minutes to 20 minutes. Also, uh, those travelers that are looking to make a reservation, uh, statistically, they are 67% more likely to book when this type of medium is included. That's really, it's really, really something. Given that the average, uh, uh, given that consumers are beginning their travel plans on mobile devices 47% of the time, we think what a, what a compelling way to, to lock them in, get them excited, encourage them to make a reservation then and not have to wait until you know they get onto a computer later or maybe are getting distracted by other websites, that sort of thing. Well, I mean, mobile's growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, panoramic photography has been embraced by Apple, Google, and Microsoft in recent history. The trend is panoramic photography. Twelve years ago, you saw, with the advent of uh, uh, digital images on cell phones, you saw the rise of platforms like uh, Flickr. Six years ago, with the ability to create video on smartphones, you saw YouTube really hit its stride. And Tourist is here to serve that same type of solution for panoramic images. Uh, Tourist is focused on making sure that consumers and businesses realize how far we've come from the virtual tours of yesteryear. This is a totally different type of experience, one that we don't have to be afraid of because consumers are ready to embrace it. Tourist didn't start with a strong foundation in travel. We started in an acknowledgement of what the consumer wants and what the businesses want. And I think that's the only thing that matters. This whole idea, the excitement that surrounds paradigm-shifting businesses and shakeups, it's there for a reason. It's because every once in a while someone takes a step back and says, I'm not concerned with convention. I'm concerned with what makes sense. And I encourage anyone to separate themselves from convention. Really, really think about what's going to motivate people. Motive misalignment is one of the biggest challenges that the travel industry is facing. Tokyo. I absolutely love Tokyo. My wife and I go to Tokyo as often as we can. I'd love to live there one day. Um, we just we love every little district, Shinjuku, Shibuya, Harajuku. Um, that's where I hope to call home one day.